League Soccer came to Edgar Street. There have been jubilant days with promotion to the second division and miserable ones as well with relegation and financial disasters. But United are now solvent and break even on gates of around 2,000. The fans that come are the diehards. In the last few weeks, the cheers of success have been echoing around the ground because United have just won five matches in a row, a club record, and are unbeaten in their last 10 league games. Their five wins brought a staggering 18 goals and an award for top scorers of the month. We broke a lot of other records that we didn't want this season, <laughs> uh, so it's nice to have one that we can record and say that we've done something. What sort of task is it here, being manager, John? Um, it looked a very difficult task when I came about 12 games before the end of last year, and everything had to be broken down and start again. And we brought in eight new players, and I think possibly middle of the season I may have been expecting too much from them, and perhaps it's all coming to fruition now. You know, we will find out. Against Colchester United this week, it looked in the first half as though Hereford's fortunes were changing when they went a goal down after keeper Kevin Rose had rescued them with a handful of brilliant saves. In the second half, United rediscovered their goal-scoring touch and top scorer Stuart Phillips knocked home a well-deserved equaliser, his 19th goal of the season. And there are enough young players at Edgar Street to suggest a promising future. I've always thought that Hereford uh, could support a, a football league club. They've proved that in the past. They've had a lot of good players here in the past and good teams. And uh, why can't Hereford United survive and look forward to a good future and have a good team again? That's all I want. On Wednesday, United was saved by the referee's whistle. This Colchester goal...